what's up guys Carl here from SP Tech Gadgets and today we're here to review the iPhone 3GS which is the S stands for speed this thing is packed with iOS 6 so let's take a look the iPhone 3GS still carries that classic look from the previous iPhone the iPhone 3G it have this 3.5 inch screen it's a compactive touchscreen and it supports multi-touch and it have this one home button and at the top we can find this speaker grill and at the other side we can see this volume rocker and mute switch and at the top we have here a 3.5 millimeter ear jack which you can connect an earphone or microphone and the power button and at the bottom we can find one mic one speaker and the 30 pin dock connector for charging and syncing the design of the iPhone 3GS is at the back it's a very fingerprint magnet thing so you need one of these microfiber cleaning cloths to clean it unlike the iPhone 4, 4S and 5 the iPhone 3GS still carries that mini sim not the micro sim and you can see it via sim tray the 3.5 inch display from the iPhone 3GS have a resolution of 320 by 480 which have 165 ppi or the pixel density. At the back of the phone, we can see this 3.15 megapixel autofocus camera which should still photos at 2048 by 1536 pixels. You can launch the camera app via lock screen or you can even launch it via home screen. This is the camera app and you can touch to focus focusing on the beats by Dr. J and we take some shots here and I'm going to show you that that's the real shots that's the real thing untouched and that's the via uh, home screen there touch to focus again another shot boom the video of the iPhone 3GS, it shoots VGA at 30 frames per second. Well, VGA isn't good as HD, but it's still that, not that bad. It's still a great quality on this type of screen, but when you try to watch this in like an HD monitor, it's really bad. And it's not that good. Here's some fish here, some goldfish in my aquarium. You want to see that. This phone is now running the latest mobile operating system from Apple, iOS 6.0.1. With a ton of new features in iOS 6, it's a pretty good deal. There is just one problem with the 3GS, and that is battery life. It's not good. The iPhone 3GS can support 2G network at GSM from 850 to 19 and 3G network HSDPA from 850 to 2100 and the data speed of the HSDPA is up to 7.2 Mbps and it have a Wi-Fi 802.11 B and G and it have Bluetooth, Edge and GPRS the default browser of any iOS devices is Safari and this is Safari in uh, in the iPhone you can type here the web page that you want to go for example Nikon.com you'll wait for it to load and boom there's your website you can pinch to zoom there pinch to zoom you can even go to landscape or full screen if you want you can even create new tab if you want to double your performance while well, we type here google.com let's wait for it to load so there you go guys there's google.com and that is safari this is the music app for the iPhone. So let's take a look. It, it's, it is like the music app from the iPod Touch. That's why it's a good thing. We have your playlists, artists, songs, albums, and more. 
if we go to albums and we put it on landscape mode it will reveal cover flow so you can select easily your songs I will test the speaker later so you can hear how loud it is okay This is the phone app for the iPhone. We have here contacts, recent contacts, favorites, uh, all contacts, keypad, and we have here the last thing, voicemail. Here is the message app for the iPhone. And it's very traditional really in these days to have conversation list things in their messages, in their text messages. You can compose here, just type the number and type your message and go ahead and send it. That's how it is. You can even choose photo for multi-media messaging. One more of the new features of the iOS 6 is this drop down where you can see the weather for days, the stock widget and the tap to tweet and tap to post another feature if you double tap the home button you will reveal this multitasking bar at the bottom where you can find your recent app usage these are other utility apps like the calendar the clock app and the maps app i happen to have two phones here right now one is the 3gs and one is the iphone 4 i'm gonna test how they compare in speed in launching temple run so let's find out see the iPhone 4 is currently winning because it's newer and the 3GS is laggier than ever so there you go guys the iPhone 4 is the winner the iPhone 3GS have a 600 megahertz Cortex A8 GPU and it's not that fast though but with the largest collection of apps in the app store you can barely enjoy this phone enough. It have a GPU of Power VR SGX535. It have accelerometer, proximity sensor, and compass. Here are some of the features of it. But that's about it guys. That's the review of the iPhone 3GS. Make sure to subscribe in our channel and check me out until the next videos. See ya.